Wind is everything on a sailing yacht. It fills your sails, drives your speed, and determines your angle of heel. It shapes the waves, tests your trim, and tells you when it's time to reef. Learning how to read the wind, both forecasted and real-time, is one of the most useful skills a skipper can develop. Let's start with the big picture. Around the world, wind follows certain patterns driven by the rotation of the Earth and how the sun heats different parts of the planet. Near the equator, you have the trade winds, steady easterlies that blow from the northeast in the northern hemisphere and the southeast in the southern hemisphere. In the mid-latitudes, where many people sail, you'll encounter the westerlies, stronger, less predictable winds that blow from the west. And at the poles, cold polar easterlies dominate. These global patterns create prevailing winds, which are great for passage planning, but they only tell part of the story. Closer to land, local effects can completely change what you feel on deck. One of the most common is the sea breeze. During the day, land heats up faster than water. Warm air rises over land and cooler air from the sea rushes in to replace it, creating an onshore breeze. At night, this reverses. Land cools faster and the breeze can blow offshore. These daily cycles are especially noticeable in hot climates and sheltered bays. Then you have catabatic and anabatic winds. Catabatic winds occur when cold air drains downhill, often in the evening or overnight. These can be sudden and powerful, especially in mountainous coastal regions. Anabatic winds, on the other hand, are created when warm air rises up slopes during the day, sometimes reinforcing local sea breezes. Topography plays a huge role. Cliffs, hills, and valleys can bend, block, or accelerate the wind. When you sail near islands or along rugged coastlines, things get even more interesting. Wind doesn't just stop when it hits land, it flows around it. It can funnel through gaps, accelerate around headlands, and form turbulent eddies on the downwind side. In narrow channels or valleys, the wind can feel twice as strong due to compression. In a wind shadow, just a few boat lengths can mean the difference between drifting and blasting along. Learning how wind interacts with terrain helps you choose the best course, trim, and even where to anchor. But wind isn't always steady. Gusts, squalls, and shifts are common, and they can catch you out if you're not paying attention. Gusts are brief increases in wind speed. They might come with no warning, or they might follow visible signs like dark patches on the water. Squalls are more dramatic. They often bring strong wind, rain, and a sharp change in direction. Wind shifts might be gradual or sudden, and reading the clouds and waves can help you spot them before they hit. So how do you keep track of what the wind is doing? First, use your tools. Apps like Windy and Predict Wind can show you how the wind is expected to behave, hour by hour, location by location. Your onboard instruments show both apparent and true wind, which helps with trimming sails and understanding your angle to the wind. But don't rely on screens alone, Look at your telltales, watch flags on shore, notice ripples on the water, feel the temperature on your skin, sometimes you'll even smell approaching rain on the wind. The more tuned in you are, the better your sailing decisions will be. Sailing well isn't just about reacting to the wind, it's about staying ahead of it. Trim your sails for what you feel now, but keep an eye on what's coming next. If the wind is forecast to build, reef early. If you see signs of a shift, plan your tack or guide to take advantage. Use wind funnels to your benefit and avoid wind shadows when you can. Understanding the wind means you sail smoother, faster, and safer. No surprises, no scrambling, just good seamanship. Mastering the wind takes time, but it starts with awareness. Pay attention, use your tools, and back up forecasts with what you see and feel in real time. In the next episode, we'll look up and explore the sky, how to read clouds, spot incoming weather, and identify signs of changing conditions long before they reach your sails.